Hey everybody, Paul here, back with One Piece Pirate Warriors 2. Now, you guys, I'm sorry for this being a little bit late. Um, I was really busy during the weekend. I had my girlfriend's grandfather's retirement party to go to, which was a lot of fun. And I'll probably talk about it later on, but yeah. So, sorry for this one being late. Um, but you know what? Let's get started. So, last episode, we did Chapter 2, Episode 3, Infiltration, the Stronghold of Hell. In this one, we're going to be taking on Chapter 2, Episode 4, The Great Crash of Marineford. Let's set sail. So for this one, we are going to be using Rook. Tank Hazard and Impel Down were attacked by the Tank Hazard. The United States government was waiting for the Dial to be released. 海軍元帥赤犬は麦わらの一味と黒ひげマーシャル・ディ・ティーチを最重要参考人とし速やかに捕らえるべく出撃の準備を急いでいた一方バギー率いる大海賊同盟はさらなる大勢力に成長を遂げていた海軍に対抗できるほどの力を持ったことで政府の密約に興味を失った海賊たちはバギーを祭り上げて海軍本部襲撃を計画これを好機と見たルフィたちは白ひげに協力を求めるとともに海軍本部と大海賊同盟の衝突に乗じてマリンフォード突破を図ろうとしていた見ろもう戦争が始まってるぞそこら中敵だらけだこっそりずらかるってな無理そうだよいでも俺たちだけでこいつらを相手にするのかいや親父にも協力を頼んであるんだがあ見ろよ白ひげの海賊機だおっさんもう来てくれてるぞ大海賊同盟だけじゃと思っちゃったが麦わら白ひげ連合も現れよったかこりゃ海賊どもを一掃するまたとない好機じゃまっ息子たちを迎えに来ただけのつもりだったがこりゃあそうもいかねえようだな相手がその気なら逃げ出すわけにもいかねえだろうやろうども戦闘だYeah, so we're back with this, and like I was saying, sorry for this one being so late. I was at a party the week、uh, this weekend, so I didn't really have time to record for yesterday, except for that I already had one recorded for.、Uh, I already had one recorded because I already recorded Hyrule Warriors, because, you know, that game's a lot of fun. But,、uh, so yeah, that's why this one isn't done yet, because I haven't recorded this one yet. But, you know, we'll still get through this one, you guys. We're almost done with this. Well, we're close to this. We're almost done with chapter two out of, like, I think four it is. Four or five. I, well, there's a secret episode, which I'm also going to be covering.、Uh, and I'll explain how you get to that、uh, when it comes to that. Which is, it's really simple actually to get to it. It's kind of funny how simple it is. But yeah, I'll, I'll cover that when, it, when the time comes. But yeah, I really wanted to go to the party, so I didn't really have time to record this. That's why、uh, on Monday I only had one、uh, video up instead of two, like I said I was going to start doing. Because of that, because I didn't have this one recorded yet. 
but I'm gonna record it now, as you can tell, because I'm playing it right now. <laughs> so let's go take out Moria. Oh, and by the way, this is Brooke. He was one of the last to join the team of the Straw Hot Pirates. Actually, he is the last that a wall from this so far. Uh, and that's why he's the last Straw Hat Pirates we're going Straw Hat Pirate we're going to be using in this let's play. But yeah. He's pretty cool. He's uh he had a devil fruit. I can't remember the name of the devil fruit. For the love of me. Oh, uh, I might put it up on the screen. I probably will put it up on the screen right about now. Okay. Yeah, so he had that fruit and uh, which caused his bones to come back to life because he died and he's a musician so he's the cruise musician of the of the Straw Hat Pirates so that's why a lot of his attacks are with m musical instruments or dealing with music in some way or another and uh, I already showed off who my character was it was Ivankov Ivankov whatever it's however it's pronounced but yeah, that's Ivankov, uh, she, or he, I don't, I don't really know who, if it's a he or she anymore, really, honestly, it could be either way, <laughs> but yeah, uh, he or she, Ivankov, uh, was in Impel Down, and was, like, one of the people that was in there secretly somehow, uh, I, I don't really remember too much because that was a while ago. And by a while ago, I mean in the manga, because it's it's further than that now, a lot further. But yeah, um, so Brook is kind of interesting. He's uh, I don't know how to describe him. He's just kind of weird. So yeah, the party that I was at this weekend, it was a lot of fun. Uh, one of the things we did, which I've never done before, it was called LCR. Would, uh, I had no idea what it was, but everyone gets three dollars, and you sit around a table, and there's three die, uh, and they each have different letters or a dot on them. So there's L, there's C, and there's R. If you get an L, or, and then there's a dot. If you get an L, you have to pass a dollar to the left. If you get an R, you have to pass a dollar to the right, and if you get a C, you have to put a dollar into the jackpot. And, uh, the, oh, and a, if you get a dot, you get to keep your dollar. And, uh, you have to roll three die. Well, you roll one die for every dollar you have, up to three die, dice. So, so if you have four dollars, you'd only still have to, uh, roll three die. But yeah, let's listen to this now. エースじゃねえか。なあ、俺の仲間になるおやじの時代は終わらねえし、俺もおめえの仲間にはならねえよ。そうかい。生きてなんぼのこの世界、全く残念だ。エース、おめえは火だろ。So yeah, uh, it's just a really fun game, and uh, we had, a, it's usually played with like, not as many people, we had like, 22 people, so the jackpot was 66 bucks, which is a lot, 
but I didn't win, unfortunately. But, oh well. You know, it was still a lot of fun, and, uh, it was a bunch of hors d'oeuvres, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was just a lot of fun, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Oh, cool, he's dead. I didn't even kill him. And, yeah, so that was a fun weekend. Um, but, now I get to do this again, which is a lot of fun. Oh, and I couldn't do it, on, and I couldn't record on Monday because my sister was home. She she's like the loudest person you would ever meet. So I, I can't really record with her around because then I would I would be having to cut out every single time she starts talking and. That's more work than I really want to do. So, yeah. But, you know what? I, I'm doing it, so I'm glad. And I noticed I got a new subscriber, too. So, thank you for that, Pavel Gill. If, I'm, I'm probably butchering your name. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, uh, that's my, who my new subscriber is. And I'm going to be doing that now. I'm going to be, well, until I, uh, unless I get, like, really big and I can't do that anymore. I'm going to, uh, if, whenever I get a new subscriber, I'm going to name him off. So, yeah, look forward to that. If you're not subscribed yet, I'll call you out. <laughs> so, let's get this done. So we're almost done with this area. I don't think this is a long uh, area or a long episode. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's sh pretty short, actually. Okay, so, oh. Let's go get one person down here. Let's go get... Oh, I hate this guy. He's... Okay, so now we can show off his second. Which is pretty good, honestly. It's a pretty good attack. Okay, and in order to defeat Kizaru, we have to go into this one. And now let's go take out whoever is up in the top right. And just because we have it and we're probably going to lose it beforehand, let's just do that real quick. Oh. What's happening now?
貫くがいいこいつは俺引きで俺を殺せると思ってやがる。That was the ending of it. I did not see that coming. Um, yeah, okay.
つぶし合いご苦労だったな麦わらのルフィ俺ならマッドダイヤルを完全に制御できる見てろよまず手始めにおめえら殺し合いでもしてみるか世界の勢力図が一変するぜ<笑>敵だが悪縁も縁こんなところで死なれてもつまらねえ俺は医者だ命はつないでやる待て俺だって医者だぞルフィを助けるのは俺の役目だそうかなら一緒に来て手を貸せそいつの容態は一刻を争うよし分かったみんなルフィを運ぶの手伝ってくれじゃがこの男おそらくはノースブルーで悪名を馳せた賞金首じゃぞ俺は確かに善良な医者じゃねえし麦わら屋を助ける義理もねえ親切が不安なら何か理屈をつけようかいいよ一刻を争うんだろ準備ルフィを運ぼう。分かったトラファルガー王者ったなよろしく頼む Wow, what a way to end a chapter, right? So now we know a lot of the what's happening and why it's happening. So yeah, we beat chapter 2, episode 4 of the Great Crash Marine Ford. In the next episode, we're going to be taking on Chapter 3, Episode 1, The Assassin from Blackbeard. And yeah, there's six episodes to this chapter. So get ready for the ride, you guys. Hope you guys had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. See you next time, guys. Bye.